welcome to our channel. Today, I have three super easy and fast Dollar Tree DIYs. So stick around and let's see how I put these together. This is a very simple DIY. I'm gonna be using a Dollar Tree candle holder and also the ink colored paint in the Waverly. And I do believe this is about $1.50 for the little bottle at Walmart. And um, it is easier to spray paint this, but I'm out of spray paint today, so I'm just going to be using my Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just gonna paint all this black, and I'll come back when I have it painted. I don't wanna bore you with painting this, so I'll be back when it's painted and dry. I picked up this Halloween basket from Dollar Tree with the little spiders on it. And now I'm just gonna take my candlestick and I'm just gonna hot glue this on. You can E6000 it to make it permanent, but I don't want it permanent and my hot glue will hold it just fine throughout uh, Halloween. Now I'm just gonna put my hot glue on the outer edges of my candlestick. Just as simple as that. And I'm going to place my basket in the center and hold it down. And now that the basket is done, I'm just gonna clip open some candies that I bought at Dollar Tree. You can get any kind that you would like. I have so many different ones out at Dollar Tree. Well, of course, I didn't open it enough. Let's go down some more. And I got the finger sour suckers to put in. And clip my little tag off. I think this turned out really cute. This is how it looks with my other Dollar Tree DIYs. It looks really cute. You could set it anywhere you would like, and then everybody can grab some Halloween goodies. So I thought that turned out really cute. That's a really fast and simple DIY. This cute, but quick DIY. I'm gonna be using this little galvanized tin that I had got from Target last year on the clearance. It was originally a $2.98, and I picked it up for five cents. And I'm gonna be using the Dollar Tree little pumpkin decorative picks that have a little glitter on them and a pick of boxwood that I had picked up from Walmart and this is only 98 cents. Already has the raffia on it and I'm just going to leave that on and I'm just going to snip my little purchase tag off and then I'm just going to be placing the picks in. I'm just going to pull these off and I'm going to be placing them in and around in here. You don't have a little container like this. Dollar Tree has lots of um, little containers out right now, little galvanized pieces that you could purchase to make the same exact thing. Then I'm just gonna continue placing these all in. And the box would pick pulled off and I place it in. You can do this ever how you would like. And then I'm just going to simply open up my picks. Let's cut them. Cut my picks open. And then I'm just going to place them inside. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna to be too long. I don't want them up that high. So I'm just gonna snip it off and just place these all around in my little pot. And then I'm just gonna continue placing the little pumpkin picks all around. Just place them wherever you would like them. I think this is a cute fall decor piece and it will take you through Halloween and Thanksgiving. In this DIY, I'm going to be using some pumpkins that I got on sale after Thanksgiving last year at Target. They were five cent each. And I'm also going to be using the silver candlestick that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And this is a Green Briar product. And I'm going to be using 
my Waverly chalk paint in ink, and my acrylic apple barrel paint in white. You don't really have to paint right up here because your other pumpkin will be on top of it. So I'll get this painted black, and I'll come back when I'm finished. Pumpkin painted black. And I'm going to take my smaller of the three pumpkins, and I'm going to paint it black. These are so fast to paint. You can also spray paint them, but this is just what I had on hand. And it doesn't take very much at all. It doesn't suffer in, and it's very fast. A pink Amore Booze pumpkin, I'm going to paint it in the acrylic white paint. And I'm just going to leave the steel on white paint because it'll be easier for me to twist around. Paint right on. And this one, um, it's probably going to take two or three coats because of the black and the pink that's underneath it. At least two. I know the other pumpkins only took one fast coat. This one will take a little more time because of the pink. And then it doesn't matter if you, I paint the steel because I'm going to end up taking it off. So I'll be back when I have this painted. I have my three pumpkins all painted, the two black and the one white. And I'm going to take my small pumpkin that's going on the top and write the word meow. And I'm going to draw a little cat. And don't be intimidated by this at all. This is a very simple process to draw the cat. If you have never been able to draw one before, I'm pretty sure you're going to pick it up in this video. My white paint chalk marker. I'm just going to give it a little shake. And I'm just going to write the word meow on here. And the great thing about working with the chalk marker is if you don't leave it on too long, you'll be able to get it off if you don't like your penmanship. So I wrote the word meow, and now we're going to draw a kitty cat. And all, it's very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to draw a U. So you just make a U, and then you're going to come down and fill your U in. Just fill it all in. And then you're just going to put some little whiskers. And you have a kitty cat. Look how cute! So now we have the meow and the kitty cat. And I'm going to do a few more of these kitty cats on another pumpkin so you will be able to see and learn how to do it. I already started to put on some of my cats and now I'm going to sh go through it and show you how to do it. I'm going to use my Sharpie paint marker, but you could use a Sharpie as well. And you're just going to go through and make a U. And then you're going to to make like a half circle and then you're just going to fill it in you can always go back and correct I'll go back over these and correct it to get it exactly like I want it and then after you fill it in you just make its little whiskers And it's very simple. And then you have a little kitty cat. And now I'm gonna finish up my little kitty cats. And when I get them done, I'll come back and show you how it looks. So now this is how my pumpkin is looking with my little kitty cats all over it. I have a little bad spot there, but that's okay. We'll turn it to the back. And this, it was the ugly boo pink pumpkin. It sure looks a lot better now. So I have that one done in the meow. And now I'm just gonna start on this one. This is gonna be the bottom one. And I'm going to attempt to draw a kitty cat face on. And now for this pumpkin, I'm going to draw a cat face. I'm gonna give him some whiskers. I think I'm gonna redo his eyes a little 
get them up just a little. Now that I have my cat face on the pumpkin, I need some ears for the kitty cat. So I have some old uh, poster board that I do projects on, and I'm just going to make his ears out of this. I'm just going to cut some of this off. And I'm just cutting this in triangles for his ears. I do not have a black poster board paper or any black construction paper, so I'm going to have to go an extra step and paint this, paint these black, and I'm going to be painting these in my chalk ink paint again. The more I thought about it, a cat's ears aren't triangled, so I'm just going to kind of go around in a little bit of a circle on both sides. I am going to leave the top part a little um, like a triangle, but I'm going to try to just go circle on these. And then I'm going to paint these and I'll be right Now I have my cat ears painted, but you can skip this step if you have black cardstock paper, black construction paper, black poster board, or if you're like me, you paint it if you don't have it. So now I'm just going to take both of these and just bend it up like that. And I'm going to hot glue this part down to put on my pumpkin. But first, I'm going to hot glue my pumpkins together. Now I'm just going to put my hot glue on. And this will hold your pumpkin. <clears throat> I'm just going to hold it down. glue this on I got to thinking and I think this would look prettier if I came in with my white chalk marker and filled in his ear a little with white chalk paste and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the paper and now I'm just going to hot glue my last pumpkin on I'm just going to hot glue my ears on. I'm going to glue it to the bottom right here. Put it right in front of his eye here. And then I'm going to hot glue this one. fell off. Okay. I'll get it back on. And there we go. And this is how it turned out. And I just sat the pumpkins right on the candlestick. I think this is so cute. And you can use any size pumpkins you would like. You can spray paint your candlestick black. Just whatever you would like to do, however you would like yours. I thought this kitty cat topiary turned out so cute. It's just the cutest. And you can set this around anywhere in your home. It brings a cute little touch to your Halloween decor. And then uh, the candy dish from the web basket at Dollar Tree and the candlestick. And this is just so cute. I hope you all enjoyed these DIYs. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment below. We would love to have you be a part of our YouTube family. And until next time, everyone, have a great day.